Hello everybody, Sigrev2 back again with another video for you all, and I'm going back to Ranksville, and yes, I'm going to be taking a look at DDR Max 2 US, released for the PS2 in 2003. You know, I've been, I've been getting some questions and some comments on these rankings, so I would like to take a quick moment, momentarily, to address a few things. Uh, first things first, this is all just my opinion. Um, don't feel... Like, I'm attacking your opinion on certain songs. If you like certain ones, if you dislike certain ones, it's entirely up to you. It's just like, this list is entirely up to me. These are, this is just my opinion. You know, I, I don't want anyone to feel like, you know, I'm hurting them or attacking them. Everyone's free and entitled to like what they like. And second of all, I still don't know if I want to split these up into parts because these games do get longer soundtracks uh, the lo more we progress. And I'm sure people don't really want to sit through a 40 plus minute long video. But I mean, if you if you like that sort of thing, let me know. I'll gladly ramble on for 40 plus minutes if you want. I mean, shoot, I'll ramble on for an hour if I gotta. But let's hope that this video doesn't take an hour to record. So yes, DDR Max 2, the first... Uh, U.S. console game that, or at least for PS2, that, you know, it really doesn't have that many duds as far as I'm concerned. There's a lot of damn good material on here, and I, I, hopefully that'll come across in the ranking. Also, uh, instead of it being the one-by-one -one ratio squares, I have them set to uh, landscape mode for the images. J just to... Make them less obscure. They were cutting off and whatnot in the last few, so hopefully this is okay. Also, my fans are blowing in the background, so hopefully that won't be too loud. So first things first, we have a little bit of ecstasy, which I think, respectively, I'm going to put that bad boy into three out of five. It's okay for what it is. It's a neat little melody. It's a neat little tune, and I do enjoy that slowdown near the, uh, near the end. But there's so much more that they could have done with that particular track. Um, they could have... Yeah, I don't know. I, I like the vibes it provides, but it could have provided better. Afrinova. Gonna go in a 4 out of 5. I, I find it very hard pressed to find somebody who doesn't really like Afrinova. Especially the original one. That's It's just a blast to listen to. Regardless. AM3P AM East Mix. I mentioned this in one of my previous videos. I do believe it was the Coda Mix video. Or the DJ... Uh, DJ Max. Yeah, the DDR Max video. Uh, yeah, Coda Mix. Uh, the AM East Mix is 5 out of 5. It's almost as good as the original AM3P, but it's not exactly as good. Of course, AM3P is going to be in 5 out of 5. Every single time it appears on a list like this, it's going to be 5 out of 5. I don't think there's ever going to come a point in time where I don't love the shit out of that. But AM3P, AM East Mix is still a damn good tune. Bad Routine. Probably going to get a little bit of flag for this, but I'm putting it in the 4 out of 5. In fact, I'm putting it above Afrinova. And, um, and I know some people don't really care for that one too much, but I absolutely enjoy listening to it. It's always a blast whenever it comes up on Shuffle. Cause, you know, sometimes I listen to Bamani soundtracks, and I have a whole playlist of them on my phone, where, and I just shuffle through them, and every single time that one comes on, I find myself grooving and jiving. Breakdown, gonna go into 3 out of 5. It's a neat little song, and I know it's very iconic, but I... With a lot of the B4U stuff, I find myself not so inclined to sit down and listen to it. Like it's neat for what it is. If it comes, if one of them comes on when I'm playing DDR, I'll play it. But not exactly a favorite song as is. Burning Heat. Oh man, this one's gonna go into five of five, and it's gonna go above AM East Bix. Oh yeah, Burning Heat. It's one of the few song. It's one of the first songs uh, when I first came into liking DDR. It's one of the first ones that really 
helped me get into the series and really made me appreciate the series for what it you know what kind of kind of scale we're talking about here when it comes to the content in there and still to this day over 20 years later i still love the shit out of it i can't say over 20 years later because song debuted in max 2 which is not 20 years yet but you know what i mean busy child the crystal method this one's going to go above afranova the license selection for this particular game is easily one of the strongest in any console game and that's even including some of the japanese titles because i know that people really like those but i mean they pick some winners here uh y- y- you might find a few more higher up uh spoiler alert can't stop falling in love the original one I-, I don't even remember where i put it in my last ones but i'm gonna put it in the three out of five the speed mix is superior in almost every way for me, but yeah, you know, I, I can't. You can't really go wrong with that. Uh, with the original one, celebrate night Euro trance style. I'm gonna have to give it above breakdown. I do appreciate the original one more, which that one's going to go into four out of five, just below Afranova. But I do like the Euro trance style. More than enough. I think it has a nice vibe for it. Uh, it could have been tampered with a little bit more. But as it stands, it's okay. Basically, what we've got here so far, we've got 11 songs picked. And not a single one goes below 3 out of 5 right now. And I get it. We're ranking alphabetic, or It's sorted alphabetically. But, I mean, shit. There's nothing below 2 out of 5. But with Conga feeling... That shit's going in 4 out of 5. That's such an underrated license. Oh my goodness gracious, Jiminy Cricket. That's one of my favorite early um, licenses because it originally debuted in, oh my god, was it 3rd or 4th? Probably not even one of those. It's probably like 3rd plus or 4th plus. Uh Someone who's more knowledgeable at the moment will probably correct me, and I do appreciate you doing that. And uh, I try to keep with the graphics that appeared in Max 2, but this is the original background, not the one that's a screenshot of the music video. D2R, another iconic Naoki track, and I find myself enjoying it more than Before You, almost as much as Brilliant to You. I'm going to put this bad boy at the beginning of 3 out of 5. High 3 out of 5. Days go by. I, I've i heard the full version enough where if I was ranking the full version, it would actually be lower than the DDR cut. But the DDR cut is substantial enough that I would put it in the 3 out of 5. It's weird. It, it's kind of like with Stomp to My Beat uh, when I was ranking that in DDR Max. I put that substantially low because I kind of got sick of that listening to the CD single. And I've almost started getting to that with Days Go By, but I think the cut that they added in DDR just trims enough fat and gets right to the point well enough that it stays in 3 of 5. Uh, Destiny. I'm actually having a bit of a difficult time remembering Destiny. <clears throat> I'm remembering the others, like the license that they, with the same name from Max, I believe. But this is the Naoki and Paula Terry track, and unfortunately, I'm not having a grand old time remembering it, but I'm not going to do it too dirty. I'm going to put it in the 3 out of 5. I'm going to leave it at the bottom of 3 out of 5 for right now. Dive, more deep and deeper style. I'm going to put this above breakdown, but not by much. It's dive, it's significantly better than the original dive, but not by much. There's dive into the night, which I believe debuted in Max 2 Japan, which I prefer that one the most, but I don't think that appeared in a US game, so that's unfortunate. Do It Right, 80s Electro Mix. This particular version of Do It Right, 
I would love to put it in three out of five, but I have to put it in two out of five. And there's a very good reasoning for it. Uh, there's this weird high-pitched tone that appears throughout the entire track. I know it's connect. it seems to be connected to the crash that was used, or maybe one of the synths, but it... It's all that I can hear whenever I listen to this particular track, and it, it gets very difficult to listen to. And it's unfortunate, because everything that's underneath it is actually pretty damn good for what it is. But it, when it gets to the point where it starts to actually hurt to listen to, I'd have to rank it lower than I normally would. But the normal do it right, still a slam jam. Putting it up there. Don't Stop, AMD Second Mix. With a lot of these that appeared in earlier games, I'm struggling to remember exactly where I rank them. So if I put it in a different tier, then I put it in a different one. Really, these lists are made in the moment. They're just to have a little bit of fun and to, for some entertainment. So I would put this into 4 out of 5. Um, You know what? I'm going to put it in a 4 out of 5 above Busy Child. Dream a Dream. This one is one of my favorite Captain Jack licenses. At least the ones that appeared in the U.S. There's a few in, from Japan only or weird limited U.S. ones that I do enjoy more. But Dream a Dream is very fun. It is very nice. I'm going to have to put this... Mm, I'm going to put it low tier 4 out of 5 now Drifting Away originally I didn't care for this song when I first started playing Max 2 I thought it was just okay at best but I've been listening to it a lot more recently and it's probably one of the best licenses in pre Supernova era DDR I gotta say I'm putting this bad boy into 5 out of 5 I'm putting it I know. Actually, I'm putting it right below AM3P. Yeah. I'm thinking that's actually a damn good place to put it. It's... I'm a sucker for atmosphere, and this song has it in spades. I just love a nice trance atmosphere. Like, just a lush bed that I could lie down in, and that just serves it for days. Uh, end of the century, still one out of five. I don't care for it in the slightest. Um, I know a lot of people have fond memories of it, and I can't find, I can't justify putting it any higher than one out of five. I'm sorry. Um, if anyone loves this song or at least likes it, you know, let me know in the comments below your reasons for liking it. I, I do enjoy hearing people's differing opinions about stuff, about songs and whatnot. Because my opinion isn't the only one that's out there. Sure, I might be making this video, but my opinion's not the only one that's out there. And surely there's somebody who would put End of the Century maybe in 4 out of 5. Maybe in 5 out of 5. I don't know. Maybe you're maybe you're wild and out out there and you fucking love End of the Century. You know, let me know. Feeling of Love. It's a cute little number. I'm going to have to put that in the beginning of 3 out of 5. Now, Forever Sunshine. This one's probably going to be the dirty pick gonna be the dirty pick most definitely because i know a good chunk of my friends don't care for forever sunshine but i do a lot yeah I i'm putting it that high in fact i was really considering putting it above bad routine actually nah don't stop is probably better definitely better but Forever Sunshine, it's just such a it's such a cute, lovable, silly little song, like something you'd hear in some kitschy little musical. And, you know, I love I love that it's trying. You know, I, I can't hate it too much. Get down tonight. It's okay. Never been one of my favorite licenses. I'm gonna put it above Destiny, because I don't think it'd be fair to put anything below a song I don't actively remember which I feel bad I probably should have refreshed before listening or before making this ranking but I remember most of the other songs so we should be good 
Ghosts, Vincent D'Amour mix. This one is better than Forever Sunshine. That one's going right there. You know, the more that I think about it, I'm going to put Forever Sunshine just a bit low. It's staying in 4 out of 5, but the more that I think about it with the other songs that surround it, you know, as, as much as I think it's silly and kitschy, I can't fool myself into thinking that it's better than some of the other stuff. But it's definitely better than Celebrate Night and Dream a Dream and everything that's below it. Although I am considering bumping Feeling of Love up to a 4 out of 5. Now, Groove. Groove is okay. Um, probably going to put that just above Celebrate Night Remix. I prefer the 2001 version a lot more. There's just a lot more energy, a lot more oomph, a lot more to remember about that one. But Groove itself is okay. Heaven. Oh, man. I'd be an absolute fool if I didn't put that one in a 5 out of 5. I, I have a very long history when it comes to that particular song, at least certain versions of it. Uh, some of you might know which versions I'm talking about. And... I don't know. I think I'd be absolutely silly without putting that one into my 5 out of 5. It's just an absolutely beautiful song, an absolutely beautiful cover of... Uh, I can't remember who originally did it, but DJ Sammy just knocked it out of the park with that one. In fact, I'm tempt I'm going to put it above the AM East mix. Like, looking at what we got so far, uh, pff, well, that's 15, 20... 25, 6, 27, that's 28, we're almost at 30, and there's only two songs below 3 out of 5, so we're off to a damn good start. Let me have a sip of water real quick, some water ASMR sounds. Hysteria 2001, it's a fine little tune, this one's going to go in the low tier 4 out of 5, but the original Hysteria, it's going in... Or, yeah, I'm putting it above AM East Mix. It's such a fun jammer to listen to. Like, when Naoki got into the groove, he got into the goddamn groove. And I'm not referring to a certain game by a, a certain uh, Kyle Ward created company. He created Roxo, right? I don't give a fuck. I feel... I'm I'm slowly growing off of it. Admittedly, I'm gonna put it in three out of five. Like it's okay, but Akira Yamaoka has done significantly better. I need you is another one of those. It's better, or it's okay, but it could have been better. It, like it's got a nice atmosphere to it. I'm trying to rationalize where I would put this because I don't want to put it too high. I don't want to put it too low. That's the difficulty with doing these in the moment, not planning them out ahead of time. I'll put it right there. That's neat. Looking at my OBS. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, I can see that uh, making these landscape sized was not the best idea. But the show must go on, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, man, we got to scroll down. No, oh, everything's all fucked up. I was the one... Eh, low, 3 out of 5. But in the Navy? Boy, if you don't. Just, like, I give kudos to Dream a Dream, but in the Navy, 99, substantially better. It's one of the few, like, one of the first songs that pops into my head when I think of Captain Jack, and especially the video that they included with Max 2, even though I have no idea where it came from, and I don't think anybody actually knows, but, hey, you know, I, it's always nice to see the captain in action, you know, may he rest in peace. Jam and Marmalade, always a slam jammer. I put it into, I put it in the 3 to 5 last video, but honestly, the more that I think about it, it's... Probably a four out of five. It sucks that it's as short as it is, but in a short amount of time, it's just such a fun ride, you know? I just really wish that it was longer, which is also the case for like Twin B and B Lovin' and any of these really short, short songs. 
And I know that B-Lovin does have a longer version in Beat Mania, but I don't know why they never included that into DDR, honestly. That and uh, Burning Heat. Burning Heat has a longer version, too, that they never added to DDR, and it's perfectly fine length. Uh, it's under two minutes. So I, I don't know. I don't know why they do what they do. Kakume, Kakumi, uh, however you want to pronounce that. I'm not very fluent in Japanese if it's not obvious. Uh, this one, this one, I would rank pretty highly. I think it's one of my favorite boss songs in the earlier games. There, it's such a majestic song, and it's uh, it's already cribbed from an orchestral song, um, Revolutionary Etude. And hearing Naoki and DJ Taka just take that song and just boost it up to this dance floor classic. Like, fuck, I I would go back to this one often. Uh, it would be better if I could actually pronounce the name. I do believe it's Kakume, but as I said, I'm not a native Japanese speaker. Keep on lifting. Uh, this one... People would probably put it a lot lower in their list. I'm putting it right at the top of four out of five. I think it's such... It's one of DJ Naguero's best, I would have to say. There's just something about it. Like, it feels the most complete out of his earlier material. Like, I believe it debuted in Beat Mania 4th. I could be wrong. I'm, I'm probably wrong, but I know it debuted in either a Beat Mania or a Beat Mania 3 title. And, like, knowing how far back those go and hearing it just feel like a completed song, it, it's such a blessing in disguise. And I I do enjoy me some DJ Nagirio, uh in general. But this one, like, I'm almost tempted to put it in a 5 out of 5. But, you know, the, the eh. Kind Lady interlude, this one is going to go... Just below, just below, mm, I, I like it, I don't like it more than I should, I'm putting it in 3 out of 5, and the original Kind Lady, this one I already know I'm going to get a lot of shit for, but this one's going into 2 out of 5, I know people have very fond memories of that song, I, I know that uh, this I don't want to die on the hill of not being a big fan of Kyan Lady, but I honestly can't sit here and tell you that it's one of the best that Soda Fujimori had to offer. Um, I think them getting rid of it in the arcade games was a blessing in disguise. And I don't know. I, I feel bad knowing that so many people love that song and I'm ranking it so low, but. I feel like I would be lying to myself if I put it any higher. Uh, let's Groove, Better Than Get Down Tonight. I'm going to put that right here. Long Train Running, significantly better than all that. I'm going to put that... I'm going to put it in a 4 out of 5. Putting it right above Forever Sunshine. I'm going to put Forever Sunshine below Hysteria 2001. But I'm keeping it in the 4 out of 5. And that I'm sticking to. I do need to blow my nose. It sounds like I'm getting a little bit stuffy. But, you know, I'm. we don't need that nose blowing ASMR right about now. Uh, love at first sight. Kylie Minogue is very underrated when it comes to rhythm game appearances. I don't feel like people really talk about her songs enough. And this one, I meant to put it after Forever Sunshine, but that's okay. Uh, loving You, Rob Searle, Club Mix. No. No. No, 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 no. Um, I can't defend that at all. I'm already not a big fan of the original Loving You. And this song, it does a lot of what irritated me a lot. Or it does what irritated me a lot with the Max J uh, Japanese licenses where it's like, oh, it's a cover of a song and or like a remix 
and there's like a small chunk of that in there and everything else is completely and totally unrelated and it just kind of meanders and does absolutely nothing. So that on top of a song I already don't really care for and like no thank you. Max Unlimited. Now I put Max 300 pretty high up in the Max in uh, DDR Max ranking, but Max Unlimited as a song is probably the best sounding Max song in general. A I'd put it above Kong of Feeling. I'm tempted to put it above Keep On Lifting, but I do love that one a lot. But Max Unlimited is easily one of the best sounding Max songs. You know, having an actual melody, an actual something about it instead of like, oh, just hard beats and made intentionally to be a boss song. Sorry, there's a bit of a mess on my table here. I'm trying to get that taken care of a little bit. Ooh. I got my trash bag over there. More Deep, version 2.1. This one's going into 5 out of 5. I know some people would probably disagree with that, but I adore the fuck out of that tune. It's got a... It's such a nice vibe. That's really the best way I can describe it. It's such a nice vibe. Uh, Paranoia Cassette. Here we go again. Uh, last time I put that in 5 out of 5. Um, did I put it in 5? Yeah. Yeah. So it's still going to be there. Let me uh, shuffle this around a little bit. More deep. AM3P. Paranoia cassette. Yeah. Like, that's the thing. Like, I love Max 2 US. There's really, like, aside from a few hiccups, there's really not that much in terms of duddery, I guess, is the best way to put it. Like, there, it's just slam jamming for days. I mean, even with just three out of five above. Like, three out of five isn't bad. It's not bad at all. It's, like, right there in the middle. It's like, yeah, I'll listen to this. It's not. It, it, it's okay. And then four out of five is like, hell yeah, I like this. And then five out of five is like, fuck, I need this in my life. Uh, I don't need Put Your Faith in Me in my life. I didn't necessarily care for it to begin with. Uh... I, I used to enjoy it more than I do now. I, I, I think it just grew off me significantly. Uh, Radical Faith, however, did not grow off me spectacularly. In fact, I'm going to have to put this in 5 out of 5. Yeah, I think it's one of Taka's best. Ta Taku's best. Not Taka, Taku. It's, God, I, I just love the, the power. Like, it just feels like... I'm watching something from the Bourne Primacy Supremacy movies. Like I'm I'm watching Run Lola Run and um Oh my goodness. I I'm struggling to find ways to compliment these songs because a lot of it is just cycling it over and over again. But I mean with some of these I really shouldn't have to describe like I think Radical Faith and AM three P and Heaven and Hysteria kind of speak for themselves. Also, we're at almost 30 minutes of recording, and uh, we, we've got a few lines left. We've got, looks like 21 songs. There's 20, uh, 69 songs in this game. First of all, nice. Second of all, that's less than DDR Max. That's weird. Uh, Reign of Sorrow, never been a big fan of it at all. Um... Putting it there. Secret Rendezvous. I loved it in Max. I still love it here. Putting it above. Do it right. Silent Hill. Third Christmas mix. I'm putting it in a 4 out of 5. But. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to put both of them in 4 out of 5. But I'm putting the original one just above. It's basically the exact same song. There's really not much different about it. But, I mean, at least they sound pretty damn good. Uh, so Deep, Perfect Sphere Remix. Perfect Fear. 
Uh, it's going to go on a 5 out of 5. I don't think I really ought to explain why. I, I, it's iconic for a reason. SB Trip Machine, yeah, yeah, we already know that one's going to be ranked pretty high. I'm putting it lower than I have previously. I know that I put that one. I think I put it in 5 out of 5 in the previous few. But, I don't know. I can't justify ranking it higher than what I have um, above it. Spin the disc. Uh, it's okay. I think it's one. Of, it's another one of those I've heard it so many times that I could, like, I could go without hearing it again. Like, I don't know. I think Good Cool has done better. It does feel wrong putting it that low, but I, I think I've heard my fair share of Spin the Disc. Still in my heart, never been a super big fan of that one. This one's going to go... I'm going to put it right there. Right there in 3 to 5. Um, I'm surprised they didn't include the Momo mix in this one. Uh, they did a lot of the other challenge-only charts. I'm surprised they didn't include the Momo mix in here. Or in DDR Stream, or actually, it wasn't in any PS2 game. They threw it in on like Ultramix three, Ultramix three, or Ultramix four. Superstar from Nonstop Mega Mix. I actually, I don't like this one at all. It's it's trying to go for some weird techno vibes and it doesn't work with Superstar. And with the original being as strong as it is, like goddamn like it's it's a jam. It's an absolute jam, so the fact that you're gonna give me a remix like that, it's almost sacrilegious. Take me away. Now with my history of this song People should know that th 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 this placement will not come to any surprise. But uh, if you don't know how much I just love this song to death, uh, I'm putting it above AM3P. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. That song is just so fucking beautiful and amazing. It's just... It's what makes me love music. And fuck, man. Like, I could gush on about that song for hours, but I, I need to behave. I need to behave. Shining Polaris is also going to go above AM3P. I don't think I need to explain that one. I think most of the community agrees that that song is very high tier. Uh, whistle song, Blow My Whistle Baby, or Blow My Whistle Bitch, as it is titled in Max 2. Very naughty, very naughty indeed. I like it more than I probably should, and therefore I will put it into uh, 4 out of 5. There's a lot of 4 out of 5. I'm liking a lot of this shit. And, um, yeah, a quick look through the last 8 songs. Most of them are probably going to be in 4 out of 5 as well. Uh, think you better D. Low tier, 4 out of 5, but 4 out of 5. Tomorrow Perfume, this bad boy is going to go into 5 out of 5. Uh, I had someone ask me specifically, uh, oh, if you're going to do Max 2, you know, t uh, oh, be sure to put Tomorrow Perfume super high. And it's like, well, I didn't need you to justify that <laughs> height for me because... I already love the shit out of that. It's one of DJ Taka's best. Hands down. It's such a beautiful, beautiful song. It's... It should be in arcades. I don't... I hope so. If it's not, uh, y'all need to change that, Konami. Try to love you. I'm probably gonna get attacked for even putting it anything above even put considering putting it above 3 out of 5 but it's such a nice little tune such a such a cute little tune and 
you know, it, it, it's such a nice glow up because, you know, you got let them move, which is just dog shit in every step conceivable. And then Soda Fujimori is like, no, don't worry. I got it and took most of the basic concepts and made a fucking brilliant song as Try to Love You. And I, I can't justifiably put it any lower on this list. I mean, damn, it's... It's so good. That, 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 there's my professional critique. It's so good. Suguru, Sugaru, however you want to pronounce it. it, it guess what? It's, yeah, it's going in four to five. Um, actually, it's going to go above Congo Feeling. Mm -hmm. uh, Twilight Zone, I don't... Eh. Right there, two to five. Vanity Angel is okay. Naoki has done better. That one's kind of just bog standard. Will I? I do have a soft, very soft spot for Will I in my heart. Uh, but I can't justifiably put it any higher than there. And last but not least, Xenon. Again, four out of five. Would you believe it? I'm actually going to put it... Right there. Yeah. I'm kind of. I was kind of just winging it there at the end. I think uh, 40 minute long or 35, 36 minute long video is long enough. So yeah, that's my max two ranking. Uh, if you managed to watch it this far, let me know in the comments below what you thought of the ranking. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Uh, be sure to check out the description where there will be a link to this particular ranking if you want to give it a shot for yourself. And be sure to send me your ranking of max two on places like Twitter and Discord and whatnot. Um... Don't attack me too hard if some of your favorites are lower. Or, and uh, don't berate me too hard if songs you dislike are placed higher. This is all personal opinion. Like what you like. Whatever makes you happy. And with all that being said, I hope you all have a great day. Don't be a stranger. See you around.